Hi guys, it's Kimberly from the SLE Lupus Foundation and I would like to share with you another Living with Lupus video. Over the summer, children with lupus and their families visited Camp Sunshine where they can enjoy a nice time while interacting with others who are suffering with lupus. It can be difficult for parents and families to see their child suffer with lupus. But with the right treatments and right attitude, it is possible for parents to help their child lead a normal childhood. This video will include information on children with lupus and how parents and families can fully support them. First, I would like to share some general facts about children with lupus. Of over the 1.5 million Americans who suffer with lupus, 5 to 10,000 are diagnosed under the age of 18. In this age group, boys are more likely than girls to get lupus, but this clearly changes in adulthood when girls are more likely than boys to get it. Approximately 1 in 3 children with lupus have a mild disease but many more have a moderate disease, which can be very severe at times. With proper diagnosis and treatment, only a small number of children develop severe and life-threatening lupus. Now I will go through some common questions that parents and families ask when their child is diagnosed with lupus. There is no clear reason why lupus happens to some and not others but scientists and researchers are trying to find out why. Genes usually play a large factor into those diagnosed with lupus, and events in the body and environment can trigger the illness, such as infections or stress. It is important to know that lupus is not contagious. It cannot be caught or given to another person. Because lupus is a systematic and chronic illness, it affects all parts of the body but no two cases of lupus are the same. Some children suffer with joint pain and stiffness while others suffer with kidney problems. Keep close touch with your lupus doctor in order to find out which part of the body is bothersome to your child. Blood, liver, and kidney tests are vital as these are the major organs that are affected by lupus. Find a doctor or pediatrician that knows what lupus is so that they can help you understand what these tests mean for your child. Here are some precautions and strategies for you to keep in mind for your child with lupus. Avoid close contact with sick people. If your child seems sick, make sure that you insist that a doctor examine him or her. Set an example of a healthy lifestyle for your child by trying to exercise daily and eating healthy foods such as fresh fruits and veggies and foods high in calcium. Also make sure that your child is getting enough sleep. Your child should keep all doctor's appointments, take daily medicine, and go for regular examinations and blood tests in order to see if there are any problems. Make sure that you and your child are comfortable with your doctor or rheumatologist so that your child is able to share any worries or concerns about his or her body. Find someone who is experienced. Children will likely do well and have normal lifespans if they follow these simple provisions. Having a child with a chronic illness may seem like a burden sometimes. Healthy children and spouses may feel neglected. Devote time to your sick child but make sure that you are spending quality time with all family members. Family and friends will always be a good support system, but call a trained counselor for additional help. Thanks for joining me for another video. It can be difficult for parents and families to deal with a child with lupus. What are some situations that you have been through in helping your child overcome lupus symptoms?